gas cover cast gas cover <laughs> casket gas ga bal cas bal cover gas bal cover gasket <laughs> yeah, valve cover caskets, valve cover caskets. We're here replacing this valve cover gasket on this M50 BMW. What's going on guys? In this video, you're going to see me change the valve cover gasket and then we're going to go ride some BMX, so stay tuned. All right, everybody. So, we're in here replacing this valve cover gasket. All right, you guys, so as you can see, Trey is working here on his car. We have the flux capacitor right there. Yep, right there, that's the flux capacitor. And if you get this thing to 88 miles an hour, it will take you back to the future. It's almost out. Trey. Okay, guys. Wait, let me Hold ask on. you a question. Hold on, I have the perfect explanation. You know how I'm so calm when I work on cars? I'll show you. Here, here. Let me show you. I'm going to put down <laughs> this Permatex. You get in your nice, pull up your pants, you do darts, you know. <laughs> get your stance. Yeah. You know. And then, you feel really good. You don't mind turning some wrenches. <laughs> I got some goodies coming for the BMW. I ordered a new diff. Um, it should be here sometime this coming up week, so we're gonna be doing some awesome skids. Okay, so right now I am removing the harness from the DME. Um, I'm gonna move the harness over to the driver's side there somewhere. I don't know if you could tell. Um, so I can access the valve cover. And once I can pull off the valve cover, then this should be pretty easy. Okay, next up what I did was I marked the coil packs. Um, so I know which one, it goes to which cylinder, so it takes all the guesswork out of it. So if you guys can see, numbered, yeah. Just trying to make this as simple as possible. And then uh, I'll be able to remove the coil packs, remove spark plugs, and then I'm gonna be able to access the valve cover. Okay, so we got the the valve cover off, and um, from inspecting, let me, let's, let me show you this sludge buildup from uh, previous owners not changing oil. So you guys can see that, a bit of caking. Not a good thing. Um, good thing is uh, we're going to go ahead and clean this engine up and uh, probably, I'm probably going to change the oil a couple times this month to get it all cleaned out and then uh, probably sea foam it or something to that effect. Now to do this is not very difficult, just take your time. There's a lot of little pieces in here. Um, what's really awesome about BMW that I didn't know until right now while I was doing this is they label the plug wires which cylinder they go to so they all have numbers on them and then uh, that really makes it even that much more simple to work on the car. Now before I put this back in I'm gonna get this all cleaned up so I got a bunch of engine degrees here I'm gonna get all of that sludge and nastiness out of there and then make sure it's nice and clean when it goes back in also we're gonna put some Permatex around the edges so when we put the new gasket in that um, we're ensuring that it doesn't leak. Okay, so when, you, when you're going to put this back on, you want to make sure your edges are nice and clean. So I got a little razor blade to get all the little blemishes off. Like that. All night. Oh, that's hard. What are you push. doing? Huh? What are you working on? I don't know. You just told me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're sealing something. That's what it looks like. This is this is the Permatex, guys. Um, struggling the whole time. <laughs> She's struggling. It, it, anyway, sorry. I got to give you an actual factual thing. Um, a lot of people don't use the Permatex on M50 motors or M52s. Um, Mainly because uh, BMW spec says you don't need to. But what I have found is that sometimes these valve cover gaskets are, or the valve cover itself warps a bit. And uh, you need to add a bit in there because it's not completely perfect. It's not a perfect leveling surface. So you need to add this. Okay. 
So what do you think so far? This is your first time working on the cars with me, so hopefully, if, like this video also if you guys want to see her in here wrenching with me. <laughs> is this fun? Yes. Really? You like it? Yeah. It's like putting frosting on a cake. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good. Okay, so we got the new gasket on here. I added a bit of Permatex around the edges. I didn't film it. Um, and then we're going to put our valve cover on and then uh, go ahead and tighten this boy back on there. Okay, I put the valve cover back in place. It's not, there's no bolts in it whatsoever, but whenever you're going to bolt these up, you usually start from the middle and then in an indexing form. So you'd go, you'd, this one, this one, outside, outside, repeat until they're snug. And then you do that in a cross pattern um, for the back one. So you go back that far back one, this back one. Uh, you could either go this way, that way, and then vice versa. So always in an indexing pattern to tighten them all. And then that will ensure that the valve cover, or if you're doing this on a head or whatever, it ensures it tightens it down nice and flat and straight. And then uh, you take your torque wrench and torque them to spec. Now I feel like if you're a novice mechanic, you could easily do this. Um, it just just make sure you take your time, make sure you go those steps backwards, pretty much that I filmed, and uh, you should be able to get this done no problem. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ride my bike. So that was just a quick update on the Beamer, just changing out the valve cover gasket. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be changing the oil and stuff. I'm not driving the car today, so no big deal. Um, and then uh, we're we're getting a new a new diff and uh, we're gonna be doing some skids so thanks for watching guys this was just a quick video on an update on the the beamer some maintenance and stuff and uh, just so you guys know what's going on and we will see you on the next one